the Rainbow Theater presents the real Ghostbusters beneath these streets. When you hear this, turn the page. Let's begin now. The hot summer weather seemed to be having a bad effect on the Ghostbusters business. Ray looked bored. I can't understand it. We haven't had a call in two weeks, Peter. It's okay. The spooks are probably all at summer camp. At that moment, the room began to vibrate. Pictures fell crashing to the floor, and the lights flickered wildly. Winston looked around apprehensively. If I didn't know better, I'd say that we're having an earthquake. Outside, Several motorcycles crashed to the ground, and a fire hydrant exploded. The hydrant began to melt as a creepy orange gel appeared at its base. Back in their headquarters, the Ghostbusters were oblivious to the weird goings-on outside. Ray was holding a newspaper in one hand and a book in the other. Oh, this heat spell is only in New York. The rest of the coast is substantially cooler. My research shows unusual pockets of energy beneath the city. If they were released, they'd cause dramatic warming trends. Like the one we're having right now, Peter. I'm taking my warming trend to a nice cold shower. Peter walked into the bathroom and turned on the tap. But nothing came out. Last time I go with a discount plumber, Suddenly, the toilet started to move. It broke free and began spinning wildly. How come they never cover stuff like this in Popular Mechanics magazine? As Peter spoke, the toilet roll broke free and began to wrap Peter up like an ancient mummy. Ray, could you come in here? Oh, wash your own back, Peter. Ray, it's important. Reluctantly, Ray went into the bathroom. There was water everywhere, and Peter was writhing around, tangled up in yards of wet toilet roll. Wow! Egon, Winston, take a look at this. It's great. This makes you happy, Ray. I'm so pleased. Egon rushed to the bathroom and began scanning the area with a PKE meter. Peter looked very confused. So tell me, what's going on, Egon? There are unusually high concentrations of ectoplasmic energy residues in here. I knew it was something like that. Winston barged in with a pipe wrench. He yanked at a valve on a pipe, and the water suddenly shut off. But there was a big puddle hovering near the ceiling. Winston looked confused. Large quantities of water don't usually gather on the ceiling, do they, Egon? Not on this planet. I was afraid of that. Just then, the water came splashing down on both of them. Ray gasped in surprise. Whoa! Huh. Water ghosts! Oh, great! Let's go after them! The other Ghostbusters decided against Ray's idea, and they went back to their bunk room. Winston tried to calm Ray down. It's late, Ray. Besides, we're not licensed plumbers. Yeah, but don't you see, Winston? This means the ghosts are back. They're hiding in the sewers. This heat has really been getting to you, hasn't it, Ray? Oh, but that bathroom scene, it was a sign. You believe me, don't you, Egon? Mm, probably just a local water pressure problem. Yeah, Egon's right. I'm not going on a wild goose chase at this hour. Mama Venkman didn't raise no fools. But in the end, Ray's persistence won. That night, the Ghostbusters found themselves exploring the sewers. Egon was waving his PKE meter around. Ray, I'm not getting a flicker. This place smells like a cat box, eh, Winston? Why is it so hot? Shouldn't it be cooler down here, Egon? Theoretically, yes, but due to an inversion caused by an ectological cross rip certain elemental imbalances have asserted themselves. In other words, you don't know. Uh, yeah, right. Not a clue. 
they clambered through into another dark, smelly chamber. This time, Ray was first to speak. There's an old story that Manhattan Island is held up by a stone pillar. And if that pillar ever breaks, Manhattan will sink. As Ray spoke, the earth shuddered and the Ghostbusters fell into the water. Bricks split and steamy orange gel shot out. Egon peered closer. Fascinating. Some sort of ethereal spring bubbling from the Earth's core, Peter. Looks like apricot baby food to me. Well, it must sure be a big baby, eh, Peter? This is ridiculous. We're underground in an earthquake. The Ghostbusters looked at each other and rushed for the exit. Peter bumped into a side tunnel, skidded down it, and landed up to his waist in muck. There was a bright point of light in the distance. Peter leaned into the tunnel for a closer look. Well, I'll be... Look, Ray, there are ghosts down there. Let's trap them, Peter. Are you crazy? We brought two traps. I counted over 40 ghosts before you showed up, and they're still going by. Wow! All the ghosts have gone underground. Maybe it's the heat. Or maybe there's a new demon down there. Wouldn't that be great, Peter? Yeah. Sure, Ray. A new demon. Just what I was hoping for. We're professionals, not vigilantes. People pay us to do this. We can't go chasing after every ghost in the universe just because they're there, Ray. Oh, you're right. But wouldn't it be fun to try? The Ghostbusters decided to return home. As Ecto-1 pulled into the garage, Ray was the only one still full of life. Hey, Slimer, we're home. Want a snack? A drawer crashed open and Slimer appeared. He rushed towards Ray, then stopped and darted off in another direction. Great, we smell worse than Slimer. Where's he gone, Winston? He went to throw that gel in the analyzer. We should have a readout in the morning. Wow, how thrilling. Egon returned, collapsed onto his bed, and began snoring loudly. Ray couldn't sleep and wandered off to the bathroom. All the plumbing had melted, and the gel was seeping from the pipes. Ray just couldn't resist some more exploring. Soon he was back outside in the darkness with Slimer for company, dressed in his proton pack. He pointed down an open manhole. Come on, Slimer. It's showtime. Slimer disappeared down the hole, but returned immediately, holding his nose. I know it smells bad, Slimer, but you promised. Ray was prepared. He took a big, juicy steak from a box he was carrying and tossed it down the hole. Slimer dived in, forgetting all about the smell. All he needed was proper motivation. Ray climbed down the manhole, turned on his flashlight, and looked around. The bricks had given way in a number of places, and the orange gel was oozing out. Hey, Slimer! Get a load of this! They're close. I can feel it. Suddenly, the chamber shook violently. The intrepid pair found themselves in a large chamber. The earth gave another shake, and Ray fell into the murky water below. His eyes widened in surprise as he spotted a strange metal plug inset with glowing symbols. Down there, I found it! A strange plug! Suddenly, there was an eerie chittering sound, and the big chamber began to fill with ghosts. Ray zapped his proton rifle at them. He shouted to Slimer. Save yourself, little buddy. Bring back help. Slimer streaked out of the tunnel as Ray dived into the frothing water, looking for the plug. As soon as he found it, he fired his proton rifle at it. The glowing beam steamed through the water. The plug shattered, and the water began pouring away, taking Ray with it. When the music stops, turn your cassette over. <laughs>